In the night around 1 a.m., some people came at my door. They shot at my door, and when the door was open, I came out and asked what they wanted, and they started shooting low at my legs. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to God First with DM. I am your host, Daniel, and uh, today we have a very, you know, shocking story that, um, that happened a couple weeks ago. Um, and the message that, that, is, that, that I'm going to share after um, is, is really telling of what a Christian, you know, should be, should be doing, should be thinking. Um, so this, this story starts in South Sudan. So there was a, a bishop-elect, um, you know, currently he was, he's a father, um, he's a missionary, um, and he's in South Sudan, and, and he's a bishop-elect, right? So he, he's in the process of being a bishop. Um, and the story goes as this, uh, from his own words. In the night around 1 a.m., some people came at my door, and they were trying to enter. They shot at my door, and when the door was open, I came out and asked what they wanted. And they started shooting low at my legs. Think about what's going on. I mean... Think, put yourself in, in this person's situation, um, you know, in this father's um, footsteps. Imagine yourself at home by yourself or maybe with the family, you know, with, with, with your kids, uh, with your siblings, with your parents. When someone starts knocking and banging heavily on the door and, you know, it's 1 a.m. So, and you're not expecting anyone to come. So, obviously, you're not going to answer. And what follows is, gunshots to the door and the door is open. Now at that moment you must be terrified, right? You must be probably begging for your life. And what these armed men did to, to the priest, right, was they shot both of his legs. He's now in the hospital, um, you know, from, from our understanding um, through the research, he, he's doing well now. Um, he, he's in critical condition, but he's gonna, it looks like he's gonna make it. Um, the, obviously, the, the Pope and, and the bishop, the bishop like himself are asking for our prayers. But I, I want to share what he said after this incident in the hospital. He says, You pray for me and pray and pray for the people of Rumbek, right? This is where the accident, you know, the incident took place. He says, We also forgive those that committed these kinds of actions, we do not carry any grudges. That's what the priest said. Once again, let's read the last sentence. We for also forgive those that committed these kinds of actions. We do not carry any grudges. How many of us, you know, from past experiences, from people that have hurt us, are carrying grudges, are carrying resentment, or, or maybe can't forgive someone for, for something that they committed? This bishop-elect is really challenging us as Catholics, right, as Christians, to, to really forgive. Um, and the Lord tells us this in Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. Our Lord says, You have heard that it had, said, that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that persecute you, and culminate you, that you may be the children of your Father who is in heaven, who maketh his sun rise upon the good and bad, and reigneth upon the just and the unjust. For if you love them that love you, what reward shall you have? Do not even the politicians this? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more? Do not also the heathens this. Be you therefore perfect, as also your heavenly Father is perfect. Our Lord, in this chapter, chapter 5 of Matthew, is challenging us not only to love our neighbors, but to love our enemies. This bishop-elect you know, that, that went through this very tragic experience, is encouraging us and challenging us also to pray for those, pray for those that, that have harmed us or seek evil against us. 
brothers and sisters, it may be hard, but that's the calling for, for a Christian, to love not only your brothers, but to love your enemies. I want to just want to share with you this quick message. Um, you know, please pray for, for um, the bishop-elect, and please pray for all our brothers and sisters across the world that are suffering from you know, any sort of tragedies. Remember, everyone, that we need to love not only our, our neighbors, but love our enemies as well. Thank you. God bless.